Well, uh, so this is uh, kind of a uh, traditional course uh, in the way that we, we have lectures, uh, we have labs, and it's in chemistry, it's surface chemistry. So I thought it would be nice to give the students the opportunity to take their knowledge that they gain in the course and uh, try to create value from, for someone outside of the university. So I came up with this idea that they could uh, just given this task, um, think about it and uh, uh, make a short movie uh, when they are implementing this idea. And then we will uh, gather and uh, watch these films uh, together with their uh, comments, uh, their ideas and uh, how it went and so on. The working process was we had a couple of meetings like okay so what should we talk about, how, we do, how will we do it and like what would we, how will we Present it. Present the video. Like, yeah. yeah. I think for me it was like one yeah. one meeting on what should we do, and one meeting on how to prepare it, and one on getting the work done. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, we are here to, to show you a video that we have made, and we hope that you will enjoy it. And we are talking about soap bubbles, and uh, it's. Simple but very elegant in its scientific nature. I mean, we thought it would like create value to kids that teachers maybe use this in their like education at schools and maybe you could create some what economical value ideas by continue doing like a series of these and have like chemistry for kids how to make it and how it works something like that so that's how we I mean, it was very open. Yeah, it was very so, open. Because there was no guidelines. Yeah. So that was the it's kind of nice, but it's kind yeah. of not nice at the same time. Yeah. Exactly. Yes, yeah, so you need to take only initiative. Yes, exactly. I mean, that's the difference between if someone is teaching you, then the teacher tells you what to do, and you don't have to take any own initiatives. Mm -hmm. And this, the initiative is almost fully on yourself. Yeah, you need to and teach yourself. Also. You need to teach yourself more or less. Yeah. So maybe that's more similar to workplace, because then the boss will say, oh, I have a problem, solve it. Like, okay, you learn a bit about the thing you're presenting. Yeah. You, like, to present something, you need to know what you're actually presenting. Yeah. So you get some, like, deep knowledge. And, and then you get... Um, yeah, it's, it's, like, it's really hard to explain something in a really simple way. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to read more into it, actually, than yeah. you would normally have. Mm -hmm. I think we also learn to be creative. <laughs> exactly. You need to uh, exchange a few things here and there. Imagine like coming up with super mega giant bubbles. <laughs> I think what you get from this is more soft knowledge. Yeah. Soft skills. This is like soft skills taking initiative, uh, group projects, video editing, yeah. like explaining to... I think it's the difference between like, a really good engineer and a good engineer maybe. Yeah. yeah. We had a lot of fun doing it. Um, I think the students had fun. They enjoyed it. And uh, so far, I've received lots of, of good comments about this. Uh, that, wow, this is great. We should do more of this in Chalmers. Uh, we, we don't get any possibilities to, to learn about this, to experience this. Uh, and they all agree that they think it's important in this uh, education to become an engineer, to be able to, to go from an idea uh, to something, to create value outside and not only to uh, find the right uh, answer to a question. And if you don't find it, it's in the back of the book. You can look it up there. It's relatively easy to do it. 
Um, so it, it's not necessarily so that you have to redefine the whole curriculum or the whole course. We can just uh, change it a little bit, uh, trying to get another perspective. Um, bring in this uh, idea of, okay, so we have this project and, and have we created value for someone? And just ask that question. And they maybe, oh, yes. And uh, yeah, how can you show that? And can you do that in another way? Uh, just with those questions, you might engage the students uh, in another way. So I think, I think it's a good opportunity. Mm -hmm.